Alicia Chevetone is a self-taught chef and a two-time, going on three-time, published cookbook author. When we caught up with her in her test kitchen, she was putting all of those skills together on one palatable platter of snacks. But on this particular day, she was including a sprinkle of her latest culinary achievement, her new distilled spices. So I had a lot of fun with my distilled uh, mojito seasoning and I prepared some uh, different dishes for you today. A variety of spices or rubs uniquely infused with a different spirit from tequila to lemoncello to vodka to mojito. These are actually my candied nuts. They are dressed with some melted sugar, a little bit of water and some mojito seasoning. All these natural spices are mixed and bottled right here in Las Vegas in these flask-shaped bottles. This all came about when she met the owner of Dress the Drink, Cindy McClure, at a culinary event. McClure's company creates beautiful cocktail garnishes for local hotels, casinos, and restaurants. Cindy had approached me. She introduced me to Bert as her in-house chef, and she said, have you ever thought about doing your own line of seasonings, which I had never thought about before. Um, and it really coincided with my next cookbook, which is called Food with Spirit. So their concept was, hey, let's do a line of alcohol-infused seasonings. Chef Bert Coates had been a chef up and down the strip for 17 years before working with McClure and now partnering with Chevetone on this spicy venture. The alcohol and the spirits kind of just lend themselves to the type of the cuisine. So we have a Pomodoro, it's going to have uh, vodka. You know, there's Penny Alla Vodka, which is a very popular pasta sauce. Um, we have Limoncello, so we did a, a take on a lemon pepper rub. Um, just kind of seemed like a natural fit. There's a lemon spirit, we can infuse it with that. Um, the mojito, same thing, uh, rum, it's already out there for mojitos, so we decided to turn it into a blend and, and infuse the mojito rub with the blend. Chef Coates not only helps with the blending of these spices, but he helps Chevetone come up with creative ways to use them. Really, it's kind of up to the user. Um, you could sprinkle them on chips, bread, dips, do them as marinades, make sauces with them, really whatever you can think of and, and decide to create on your own. You can find recipes and ideas on how to use them on her newly launched website, distillspices.com. You can also find them in the Arts District in downtown Las Vegas at special events and here at this unique boutique shop called Libra and the Leo. It's in the Arts Factory on East Charleston. Owners Greg and Tricia Renfro are very particular about the vendors they represent in Libra and Alio. The vendors in here are selected with intention. We talk to them, we see what their mission is, and we really go off, you know, authenticity. And so that's what's been really great about everybody in our studio. Whether in a shop in downtown Las Vegas or participating in culinary events or reaction to her new website, Alicia Chevetone is touched by the reaction to her ventures. She actually left behind a law degree and the corporate world to pursue this dream of culinary creations. And she says she has never looked back. And this is something that's very stimulating for me and the city of Las Vegas has just been incredibly supportive. Nancy Byrne here. I hope you enjoyed that story. For more great stories about the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click on that box.